Ruchim Avon B'Shem Hashem B'Shem Yirgin Shir Torah I'd like to welcome everyone to today's Shir from Harav Yaakov Zav Smith Shlita The topic of Enos Zoram B'Mokha Mitzvah Hurting someone's feelings, is it ever permissible? As we express the sponsor in your Shir call Yirgin Shir Torah 718-851-8651 or email IST at yeshivanet.com Harav Smith Someone asked me recently, he's in a yeshiva and the, the policy is if you miss Shachas a few times you have to sit the attention which is a punishment, obviously. And he's been doing this for already almost two years. He puts up a sign every week, whoever has this punishment. One week, a boy comes over, giving Mavayish Mi Barabim. My name's on the list, everybody sees. And he, Mechanach was surprised. You know, this is, isn't, isn't this part of the Het of Chinuch, the Mechanach the Tamidim? Now we have another Shaila, which happens all the time at home or in a, in a class setting. A child does something inappropriately, and the parent or the Rebbe, you know, tells him off. Is that Malvin Chavei Abarabim? We had someone told me he was in a certain shul, and they, they had the palace. Whoever talks during the shadz gay Aaron boy, and they yelled at him, and he was humiliated. He never had such an experience. He wanted to know if that's the right thing. So as you see, we have questions that will have much more. But at a shul, in a yeshiva, at home, family life, that basically involved a very sticky issue of being Malvin Chavei embarrassing someone publicly. So there's no doubt about it, hurting someone's feeling is a very serious issa. And we don't need more than the Gemara in Gittin, that in Zayin, Boi Urei Kam Gidoi Lekoi Chishel Busha, Shrei Sayi Kodesh Baruch Rez Bar Kamsa, V'hichir Vez Beisai, V'sar Vaisei Choloi. Mabal Harayin, the Busha of one person, the Baruch Shalom allowed Bar Kamsa to destroy the Beis Hamikdash and the bloodshed you learn, the Gemara Gittin is, is, is mind-boggling. All the busha of one yachid, Rabbi Shalom helped. See, I cut this baruch as bar kamsa. So obviously, kam gadol the koyches el busha has to be the guiding force in our lives. But the question is, is there any heter b'mokam mitzvah and chinuch in a shul setting? So the emphasis past this, we are the mitzvahs, you know, don't justify averes. Mitzvah bab avere ain't a mitzvah. But Rabbi say tonight, today we're going to learn. It's not a Muslim shmuz, it's a halacha shir. And we have to learn the sugya of kama gudayu l'koi chashel busha. What's the source of the yisra? What are the parameters of the yisra? And is there any hetim amaka mitzvah? So the emphasis is the first source regarding Ainaz devarim, is the pasuk in mishpatim. Almana v'yasem loisanan. Rashi is labdach gamana v'yasem. Any person that's hurt is this yisra. Imana sana oisai, if you will hurt him. Kim Tsai Gitzak Elahi will cry out to me. Zak the Bariyalami, you better watch out. Shemaya Esh Matzakosai, I'm going to hear his cries. Bechara Afi, Barak the Eschem Bechara. I'd rather not touch that, but this is Avinu Avaracham I'm talking. Chara Afi, Barak the Eschem. Vayin Eshechem Almana is Uvnechem Yusoyim. Now, as if it's not bad enough, Chara Afi, Barak the Eschem. When the Shechem Almana is Bnechem Yusoyim, in fact, Rashi quoting Chazal. Isn't it obvious if someone dies that his wife is an Alman and children are Yusayman? So Rashi quotes Chazal that he's going to get lost, his body won't be recovered, the, 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 his wife will be a, a Naguna Kol Yomeha, the children are not Yarshin, there's no closure on this suffering. Till a point. This is Avinu Avarachman, Bechor, Avarakti, Vesheikh Amman, is Brechim Yusayman. Isn't it true? Kamagadoy, the Koyach Shel Busha. But the emphasis is even more than that. Because the, anybody who learns Chumash notice the inconsistency. One person is, being, is doing the wrong thing. And how does the Pasuk conclude? Harakti Eschem, the Sheichem, Bneichem. So if you look at the Ebenez, I think he's Bavar in that Kasha. And he says that really only one person did the Avla. But where's the rest of the people? Why are the listeners not speaking up? Why, why is there no outrage? Why is there no protest? Because if we had a zero tolerance to Anas Devarim, it wouldn't be. So now we see what it means, the one that's doing it, the one that hears it. But you know, in America they say talk is cheap. But if you have a says, But more than that, we find in Parshish Kedoshim. And that's the sugi of today. It's the mitzvah the rice of giving haychacha. Vilay sees the olav chait and don't carry his chait. 
What's the Hemshech and what's the Vav Achibur? Says the Gemara in Erech and the Tezayin and If you see someone doing a Dava Magona, you have to give him Musa. Chiyav the Raisa Chacha. But, do it in, in the most painless way. If you're going to embarrass him, Rashi explains, you'll be mal bin ponav, you're over on the lab of loisisa ol of chait. In fact, Rashi al says, loisal bin ponav berabim. Here a person is doing l'shem shemayim to give someone musa, which he's mechayiv to do. But if he doesn't do it in the most painless way, if he does it either berabim or he uses hurtful words that he could have avoided, from a mitzvah of aichacha, becomes a terrible issa of leisisa of chait. And this, according to almost all the Rishonim, is one of the Tariag mitzvahs. Now the word Malbim that Rashi uses is really based on a Gemara in Bav Metziah, not Nun Chesem at Beis, called Malbim and Echevei Baram, Gilu Shoifech Domim. When you embarrass someone, it's like Ritzicha. Now, Toysus points out, typically when someone gets embarrassed, he turns red in the face. What does it mean Malbim white? So Toysus explains, first the blood rushes and he turns red. Then he turns white, and as Ben Hanam explains, he's white like a mace. And the Rishonim explain that Anas Devarim is hurtful words, which is terrible. That's Vachar Abir Akti Eschem. But Albanus Panim is even more painful. When he pushes it, his face turns colors. The Raman al Chizdeis, Perik Vav Ches, says that the Is is even privately and Kolshkein Barabim. Don't forget, the Rabbim is ain't like Chelikam Habal, like the Mishnah says. But the point, as the Rambam and Seifa Mitzvahs and El Chizdeis, the Chinuch, the Smag, Yireim, all say, there's a separate Lavin at Torah of being Malbin Ponad, even be Achidis, if he turns red in the face. The Chavetz Chaim in the Psicha in Lav Yud Dalid says it very beautifully, the whole Sugya. If you, if you hurt, hurt him with words until the Nishtan upon him, Besides Ainaz Bivara, that could be Malbim Nechaveroi. If he did it Barabim, it's even worse. Barabim, the Mishnah is an Avais, Paragimel, Mishnah Yud Aleph. Even someone's Malbim Nechaveroi, Barabim, even though he has Biyadei Torah, Maisim Toyim, Ain Loi Chelik Alam Haba. Okay, Bar Hashem, the Shmir Salashin and Chelik Bey, Simon Yazai, and quoting the Rambam, the Chashchuva, that Malbim Nechaveroi, Barabim is only if he's Rogel, not just once. And even if he's Ragil, the Rambam and Elchus Tshuva that I mentioned, Gimel Yudalit says that even for that, there's Tshuva. Not, nothing is beyond Tshuva. But Malm Nechavera is a love of Laisisa Lav Chait, and Barabim is Chas Shalom, he's playing with his Elam Haba. But we see more than that. And that's the Gemara in Bav Metziah Daf Nun Tes. Om Rab Shimon Ba Yechoi, look who's talking. The Helig Baal Zoya Kaddish. Noyach Leilo Adam Sheyapil Atzma Lekivshon Aish. It's better she throw himself into a, fir- a, a, a fiery furnace. It's better to die than to embarrass someone publicly. Where did, the, where did Shimei Chai get this from? The famous story of Tamar. Tamar was being taken out to be burnt. Not only herself, she had two Urbrim, she had the future of Malchus Beis Dov and Amalekha Mashiach in Peretz and Zorach, she was carrying. And she was being punished for what she didn't do wrong. It really was Yehuda's fault. And if she would have said who she's ex- she was expecting from, she would have been saved. But she decided to drop a hint, send a message that I'm expecting from the one that owns these, this mashkin. And as, as Rashi explains, if Yehuda will be moida, he did wrong, she'll be saved. If not, she was willing to burn herself and her children, not to embarrass someone. Three in the fashas. The Gemara seems to learn this is literal, and we'll soon see that according to many Rishonim, Malb and Chavei Barabim is actually Yahar Vayavu. But the truth is, there are more sources to the concept of Malbim. The Mechaba of the Sefer, Medjish Talpias, and the Sefer on Chumash, has a beautiful reading in the Apostle and Parshish Noyach, Shaivich Dam Ha'adam Ba'adam Dama Yishafei, which literally means if you kill someone, there's a Chiv of Ritzicha. But typically, when a person kills someone else, he starts to bleed. What is Shoifech Dama Adam Be Adam? Zok the Medish Talpiois. This is the Is of Mal Bechavei Barabim. Because Gemara says, Azul Dum, Azul Sumka. So Shoifech Dama Adam Be Adam. It doesn't leave, it's stuck in his body. 
But there's another source, an incredible lesson Lamaisa. In Parshas Vayigash, when Yosef is uh, taunting or intimidating his brothers, they don't know who his identity, and Yosef is plotting. He's hergeshim, he can't do this any longer. These are his own brothers. Yosef could not control himself. He's about to burst. But before he bursts, Vayikru Haitziu Kal Ishmei Everybody out. All the Matim have to live. Leave. Even his bodyguards, the CIA, everybody has to leave. When Yosef revealed himself, no one's allowed to be in the room. That was almost suicide. Don't forget. Yosef was antagonizing his ten brothers. Now, Yehuda already threatened him in part, the beginning of a Yigash, I'm going to kill you like I'm, gonna, like I'm not worried about you. Shimon and Levi did, did a job on Shechem, a whole city. They could take care of Yosef. And now Yosef is leaving himself vulnerable. He's only with his brothers, ten brothers. And after intimidating, they're going to kill him. Zog in Paris, Vayigash Oisei. Sakone Gedoyle Yared Yosef. In that moment, he went into terrible danger. Because they could have killed him on the spot and no one would be to protect him. So why did he do something as suicidal as that? Alakach Amu Yosef Beliboy. Mutav She'erog V'loy Evayish Es Achai B'fnei Mitzrayim. I'd rather die than embarrass my brothers publicly. And if you look in Rashi al look again. Rashi learns that to be the Poshet Pshat in the Pasuk. Yosef was not plotting from emotion. He was plotting from the thought that maybe he's going to embarrass his brothers. And the truth is they deserved it. But Yosef was, was another example of Noyach Adam to give up his life and not embarrass someone publicly. Both Tamar and Yosef was before the Torah was given, before we had the mitzvahs. And, and, and instinctively, a person said, I can't embarrass someone publicly. But I think what's the most striking source of Malbim is the Pasuk that we probably learn every year, but now we'll hear the Pasuk of Pshat. Imagine the following tragedy. Someone gets married, and Nebuchadnezzar doesn't like his kala. He does divorce, it's expensive, and it's a t- very time-consuming. So he has a terrible plan. He's going to make a mighty shemra that she was mezana, and Bezna will take care of it, they'll, they'll kill her, and he doesn't have to give a get, save money. But the father sticks up for his daughter, and saves his daughter. Now imagine the next day you read in the paper a story, a scandal. Uh, Pliny said Lashon about his, his kala. So you'd say, wow, this is, this is really misrepresenting the story. Plenty wanted to kill his kala, right? He, wanted, he took it to Bezdin and she's Mizana. But you know something? The Pasik says, like I told you, in Parshki says, uh, the whole story, you know why he's punished? He said, Lashon Hara about him, a Yiddish Shemedo. He said, Lashon Hara? Fred de Ben Yoyin and Shari Chuba Gimel Kuf Yud Aleph. His Abay was lush and hurry, he's Mavayisha. He wanted to kill her. She's Mazana. Zotabeni Yaina, that embarrassing someone publicly is worse than killing. Kitsar Achlima Marmi Mavas. Killing someone is a halbatsar. Embarrassing them publicly is Zotabeni Yaina, and it's chat in the Pasik. Kihoiti Shemra al Yisrael. Kama Gadayla Kaycha Shabusha. It reminds me of a different Rebbe in, in, in Shari Tshuva, Gimel Kuf Lamates. Rebbe says that, that really Ma'al Brechaber is an Abak with Sicha because Tzar Achli Achloma Mar Mimavis. Now, if you ask me, what's Pshat? You know, you know, embarrassment is terrible, but it's Mar Mimavis. But the Kasha is stronger because. The Mishnah says in Avos, as I mentioned, that Mal b'chev Abraham ain't lechayeg l'am habo. No, we're getting to understand this, that it's like Ritzicha. But the Kash is even Ritzicha, if someone kills someone else, we don't find ain't lechayeg l'am habo. So how could Chlima be worse than Ritzicha? Zogt Rebbein Yoyin, a different Rebbein Yoyin, in Gimel Kuf Mem Aleph, that a Ritzayach knows he did a terrible thing and he'll do tshuva. So he has a hope for l'am habo. But someone that's Mal b'chev Abraham, he doesn't think he did anything wrong. He's sitting by a table and he makes a joke and everybody laughs. He, he thinks he's being Mesameach Eden. He got a mitzvah. He says, hey, you're Mavayish Chaim Rabbim. Come on, I'm just joking. So it's worse than Ritzichel. 
That's a Ben Yain it's a shat. But the, a different reason, the Tashbits in his Mogan Avos on Avos, and his words are precious. When you kill someone, it's terrible, much worse than the Malvin, but it's painless, he's dead. When you embarrass someone, it's not just words. You apostled him. It's a psal gavra. You invalidated him. You labeled him. That less. A person goes to sleep thinking what you said. He wakes up in the morning thinking what you said. The guy in a Mishnah Yud Ches, Pasik Ches, says that Dibuk Ra is Kashi Yaisim Yako. Hako, you hit him on his hand, it hurts his hand. But Dibar destroys the person. The oids of the going had ha caught his rapper. Avaldi below your rapper. I can tell you stories that people tell me years later they still can't forget what someone said. Someone Tom came over to me and said, You're talking about Malbim? I'm telling you, I'm over 50 years old. I can write every time someone's my vice I'm five years old. I'll never forget them. That's human nature. You know, in the narrowest world, sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never. Harm me. That's absolutely wrong. I would say names will never leave me. Or maybe at names will destroy me. He described You know, someone told me, and he was young. He would make a joke. His father goes, why, why are you lying? So he goes, I'm joking. See, don't say you're joking. Say you're lying. Right? Don't say you're joking. Say you're killing. Ritzicha she'ein any keres. And that's why it's taka worse than Ritzicha. And that's taka why noyech the adam. But now you're going to wonder, wait a second. This doesn't make sense. Because if it's true that mal b'chaveri, you have to give your life, noyech the adam, we saw from Yosef and Tamar, so it's a Nayi Herg Vayavat Samtish, a new example of Herg Vayavar. So it's a good Kasha. You know who has the Kasha? Tois is in Sait Af Yudam at Beis. And Tois says, why doesn't it mention in, Gimel, in the Gimel Chamura is Malbim? So Tois is because it's not Mufurish, it's Batoira. Now, of course, it is Mufurish, but it's not Mufurish, it's going on Malbim. So Zok the Prichadash in a safe on the Rambam, the Briskarov and Stencil on the Sait, as Hasemis does, and others. Toysvis clearly hold la lacha ula maisa that gimach, that, that malbim is, is one of the yar vayava. But since it's not mefurish, it's not in the Gemara. That's Toysvis. Rabbi Yaina in Gimel Amitesh says even Sharfa. He says, what do you mean it's not in the Giz? It is in the list. Included in, in, in Shvi Chaz Domim is malbim chavera. So you have Rabbi Yaina and you have a Toysvis that malbim is yar vayava. It's so, marvelous that Rebbeinu Yoyne has four places in Rebbeinu Yoyne. In Paris, the Taitch, in Paris, the Kiseitze, that that Dibara is worse than the Ritzicha, Mar Mimaves, no Oilam Haba, and now we have Yerav Vayavar. Okay, I must mention the Meiri in Brachas, Mem Gimel, and Mebeis, and Sait, Avir Mebeis, use the Lash in Derech, Tzachos, Omru, Noyach Leili Adam, but the Emesis, Toisvis, and Rebbeinu Yoyne don't say that. The Binyan Tzion in Simon Kuf, I am based, the Chuvis proves conclusively that yes, it is Yerg Vayavala Maisa. So we see it's something very, very poshit. But now the question is so how do we apply this more specifically? Is there any head of a Mokka Mitzvah? Can you do it if your intention is Allah Shem Chinuch? So Poshit will say, The ends don't justify the means. But we, we, that's Mitzvah of Avera ain't a mitzvah. But the truth is you don't have to come on to that because he bought his Ema Kra. The whole Makar of Malbin is in, is within the context of I'm doing a mitzvah. Also, Tamar could have saved three nefashas, herself and two Ubrim, and she didn't because Noyach Adam. That's also not a mitzvah. But what's most striking, the well-known Gemara in Bava Basut, after Zayin and Manalif, Penina l'shem shemayim niskavna, when she taunted her sister Chana to daven to her children, she was shem shemayim that she hurt Chana's feelings. And the Mars may it, you know, not like we say l'shem shemayim, you know, adiyah adanish, you know, the Kotskis say l'shem shemayim, the Baruch Hatayim l'shem shemayim. And the Mars may it, that penina l'shem shemayim, but she was punished terribly. So how do you say 
It's a mutta b'maka in mitzvah. But the emes is there are a number of sources minehu bail halacha that b'maka mitzvah there is a heter. Now listen to this. The Rambam in Elchis Deyes Perik Vav Alachiches who speaks about the mitzvah teichacha. The Rambam said you have to do it gently. But if it doesn't work, machlim an oisi berabim. From, from the Rambam saying that it's an Issa, the Raisa of Lysisa, he says, but if it's not the Eitsa, give it all you got and embarrass him publicly. The Rambam, it's Kipas in your day, Reish Memvav, your Aleph, how careful a Malamad has to be with the, with the Talmud. But so the Rambam, if he's not listening, chayev or ragay zoleim, you have to get angry. Ulachlim am b'dvarim k'dei lechadadam, chayev lichas zoleim. Ulachlim am b'dvarim zokti machaba. He's giving mixed messages. The third Rambam, Hilchas Deis Perik Vav Alachiyud, regarding treating an almond of yasim with silk gloves. But zokti Rambam, if needed, lelamdam toira oy omnis muta. To yell at them. So you have three Rambams that says the Issa and says a head to the Bakim But to me, which is the biggest Chiddush of them all, we saw Ben Yoyin in four places demanding excellence in, in this Indian of G'day Lekayach Shabusha. Yet this Allah that we all know in Shulchan Aruch, Archaim, Kuvchav, Dalit Zayin, talking during Chazar Sashats is. God Lavayin and Misoy, Ugay Aaron Boy. Not only God Lavayin and Misoy, which was which Kayan said when he killed the fourth of the population, but Ge Aaron Boy. You ever wonder where, what this means, Ge Aaron Boy? So you look at the Prima Godim, see if you've your Aleph, you vice him, barab him, scream at him publicly. What's the makar of this machaba? So the base Yosef quotes are Beinu Yoyna. Now we have this say for Nigeris at Chuvah Beinu Yoyna printed in back of. Most of the Shari Tshuva. Ben Yoyne says this Lashem. It's God Lavayinim in his soy, and therefore you have to scream at him, even Barabim. The same with Ben Yoyne that said four times the Choymer of it tells you to yell at a person. Don't forget, if you have a minion, it's Zicharabim. The Chavetz Chaim and all Paiskim say Malm Barabim is even three people. But this is ten people. So the obvious Chilak is Pashit. There's no heter of maka mitzvah on a regular sense. Do a mitzvah, but don't do an avera. Giving teichacha, do it right. Dealing with almanus yisayimim, do it carefully. Dealing with talmidim, do it carefully. There's a way to do it, and usually you could get results if you do it without embarrassing them. But what does someone do when it doesn't work? What does someone do when he's watching a most horrific chil Hashem called talking during Chazar Sashats. Do you know that the, the Radvaz in Chelek Dal, Elef, Kuf Samach, quotes the Rambam son. They wanted to abolish Chazar Sashats because people were speaking. And that's a michshal of Oin Godel, a zilzun kvayt shemaim, and better without Chazar Sashats than this michshal. I mean, do we need more than what the Mechabed, the, 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 the Rabbein Yoyne says, God lavoinim in Isoy, that Cain said when he killed a, a fourth of the population. So what do you do when you see a Chil Hashem? Mechavah says in Yeridei, Reish Gimel, Sif Alf, in a different context, person sees his Rebbe wearing shotness in the street. Shotness the Raisa. Ein Chochma Vein Eitz. You have to go over and tear it off the Rebbe's back. You're leaving him in a very uh, embarrassing situation. But when it comes to Chil Hashem, Ein Chol can cover the Rav. So therefore, Avadi have to do things gently, softly, but if it's not going to work, you can't let this horrific Chal Hashem continue. Rabbi Yoyna is saying, ideally do things with Edelkeit. But if it doesn't work, now the only call of the hour is to stop this ongoing Chal Hashem. And the, and the Rambam Tak is also not a steerer. The Nevi'im gave Musa, need be, even with fire, with Mamad brimstone and fire. A Malamad has to try to work gently. But as, we'll, as we know, sometimes it doesn't work. The ik is Ratzon Hashem. The same reverse that said, Lai Sisa Lav Chait, said, Lai Sichal Hashem Kachi. It's Mabal Arayin, in the beginning of Shin Lamadal and Yeridea, 
The Shulchan Aruch says if someone did something wrong, you have to put him in Cheyrim. Even if by doing that, he's going to go off the derech. Because what he did is a Chil Hashem, and it can't go unnoticed. There's some Seifa and a Tshuva, Matzich, and Shin Chabez. But the truth is that a Chil Hashem does more damage than anything. You know, it comes to mind what, the, what, the, what instead, we find in Evan Ezra, in Ayin Aleph, Sif Aleph, based on a Gemara Ksuba Samachayim at Beis, that if someone doesn't want to support his children, he doesn't want to give child support, and if that doesn't work, get up at Sibor and say, Ploini Achzori, and he's worse than an Oif Tomei, that at least an Oif Tomei supports their Afroichim. This is the Shulchan Aruch, the Heilige Shulchan Aruch, and look at the look at the praise you sing of his. He's an achza, worse than an oif tame. The teretz is it can't be a hefkevelt. The world can't go you know without a certain balance. There's a certain sense of yikav din esahar. Rabbi Shlomo Zalman has an incredible tshuva in Milchas Shleima Aleph Zayin. But Bemis the Yisoyed already is a tshuva sadeshin and beiz rei samachay and the bach and the tshuva simon tes. Let's say someone loans a dollar to an Adam Chashiv. But he's an Erlich Yid, says in Shulchan Aruch, and Aruch without Adam. So he says, Adam Adam, look, I'm giving him a dollar. A week later, he approached the Adam Gal, you owe me money. He says, no, no, I don't know. I, I don't know. Adam. Because when my Sigmar says, the Tamachachim is busy with Sigmar, he forgot. He says, you, I have Adam. Uh, no, it's not true. I'm not paying. So he wants to go to Besden. I have Adam, and he owes me a dollar. Okay, so that's an insanity. You know, don't make a, embarrass the poor person. But let's say he decides he wants to go to Bezdin. Could he force the Aiden to go? The Aiden says, we can't embarrass this Tamil Chacham for a dollar. Come on. So there's no doubt about it. The Aiden they'll go, the Oiv on the Issa, Um the Yagid, they have a Chiv to say Aidus. Why? I mean, why not? Yikav Adin Esahar. I'll be embarrassed, so let him, let him pay the money. So there has to be a certain balance. And this is the Yisoy that we're going to use. That Avada, a person has to do things hopefully in the most harmless and painless way. But if there's no other Eitzah, now is the time to uphold Kvayt Shemayim. And then I found Eitzah Shahaba Nafshi, a beautiful Rabbi Chonin in Kovit Ha'ara, Simenayim. Rabbi Chonin, that's a Yisoyda Yisoydis. Now besides that, Rabbi Chonin was the Goyna Goyna, but he was a Tzadik Sheba Tzadikim, his Midas were exemplary, Talmud Ha'avit Chayim. But he writes in such a Pshitus, he says that in all Ben Adam L'chaveroi, the Issa is not the action, is the Kilkel and the Ashchasa Shaloi L'tzoyrach. In other words, nothing is absolutely wrong. It's, if it's the wrong thing to do, it's wrong. And he gives six examples. There's an Issa of Sina to, to hate someone. But then again, there's a, there's a Mitzvah to hate a Russia. There's an Issa of hitting someone. Even picking up your hand is wrong. But you'll add it a Talmud, you'll add it a child. There's an Issa Mona Biyasim Loisanan, but the same Rambam said, Bimokim Chinach, it's Mutta. There's an Issa Lashin Hara, but as we know, Latehelis is Mutta. There's an Issa Naz Devarim, but Latsayrach is Mutta. And then his last marshal is, there's an Issa of Malbim Bnei Chaveirai. But when there's no other Eitz of Zakhtar Rambam, you have to give Musa, even if it hurts, even Barabim. Mochach mikol zeh, the kol hisurim ha'elu hutru litzoyrich tayeles. And a perfect analogy is the horrible aver of lashon hara. That's machvas oila. But the same pasuk, if leisel roch mamecha, leisamet al dam riyecha. Sometimes the chiyuv is to stand up and talk litayeles. Well, that's the yisoy that Rechanan is saying. There's all these averes of malbin, and therefore can result leisisa. But if there's no other Eitzah, if it's a Te'eles, it's not the Issa of Loisisa, it's the Mitzvah Echeach Te'echiach. Now, not the Pshat, you'll have to do an Avera Lashma, because we don't do Averas Lashma. But Mokim Tzoyrech, Mokim Te'eles, there's no Avera. So he's doing a Mitzvah, the Mitzvah Echeach Te'echiach. And that explains the three Rambams. Hoichocha, when need be, has to be Malbin, Chinuch for a Talmud, and a monavi yasayim that explains their bein yoyna that during Chazar Sashat now the chiyav is to speak up. Now, of course, you walk on a tightrope. Mitzarecha, it's leisisa love chayt mal brachay verei. You know, you're talking about your olam haba, but you have, and there's no room for error. You know, there's no room for miscalculations. And I think the most perfect indication of this 
The eternal lesson to be careful, approach with caution, is Penina. Penina, the Gemara is made the Shem Shemayim. Not our Shem Shemayim. This is legitimate Shem Shemayim. But as Chaim Ganyevsky once explained, mm-hmm. this was not, the wrong approach. This is not for some person to be Shem Shemayim. Whatever the Cheshbon was. But I think I could add an even better Raya. Because it's, 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 it's Mavel Harai, nothing less. The symbol of Lashon Hara, one of the Shei Shechiris is Miriam's Lashon Hara. And look at the Chavetz Chaim in Essay Aleph. The Tzitkis of Miriam when she said these words. She was a Tzadikis, she meant her brothers good, she loved them, she was not Mechavan Lara. It was Tzitkis. But it was miscalculated. And it was Lashon Hara. And that's Tam Lashon Hara. That's one of the Sheish Zechira, is Miriam, is the representative of the evil of Lashon Hara. I, the Shem Shamayim, 100%. So you look at the Chavetz Chaim in Klal Gimel, see if cut in Aleph. Even though it was 100% the Shem Shamayim, but she made a mistake. She was not Dan Moishu Lekav Schus. And because of that, even the Shem Shamayim, and even Ahava, and all of the, what, what the Chavetz Chaim writes about at Sitkis, so look at these two examples, the, the Pneen L'Shem Shemaim and the Miriam. So you have to approach with caution. It's like, you know, a doctor has to make a very delicate, life-saving surgery. So he doesn't just jump into it. He researches the, the issue, maybe different plans. He consults other doctors, and then he prays. <laughs> you know, he should save the patient. No, this also is a delicate surgery. You have to consult others, make sure that's the only alternative. I'm speaking about these type of child, we have to be Mechiach, someone Barabim. You're walking a tightrope, you know, it's Olam Haba on the line, you know, people will say, I'm not worried. Maybe he doesn't believe in Olam Haba, but if he does, the Ein Lechelik is frightening. So basically, be careful. And I would advise you have a suffix if it's the right thing, Sheval Tasa Adif. You come up yelling and say, let's go, why won't you Mavayish in Barabim? Say, I was afraid to. Okay, that's a good excuse. But they say, why were you Mavayish in Barabim? So I said, I, uh, Kanoyis. Oh, you are the Shem Shemayim? Oh, they're going to start laughing. So you might be in trouble. So you're safer, better off when you have a doubt, just Sheval Tasa Adif. But the Yisoyed Adover is Look at the extent of it. Now let's try to apply this Lamaisa. So first of all, giving Musa is definitely a mitzvah. It's one of the Techiach. But the Rambam in Deis Vav Zayin says, try, first of all, it must be privately. Also, do it positively. We always mention what the Shlot Taich of the Pasuk, Al Toichach Letz Pen Yisno Eka the Pasuk is giving us the ideal way of being Mechanach Talmidim or children. There's one way you say you're a bad boy, you did you're no good. You're hurting him. You're destroying him. That's Don't talk to the bad in the person because he's going to hate you. He doesn't, no one likes to be invalidated. You know what's better? You're a good boy. Why you do a foolish thing? You're a special boy. Why are you doing that? It's past nicht. Hoichach lechachem. Talk to the chachem and the boy. Build him and criticize his action. It, it's not congruous. The Yohavek, he'll love you because you made me good. It's past finish. Oh, I'm good. That's the way to do it. Criticize the action. Build the person. Sometimes you write a nice letter with the, with, with the Musa and you sign a, a silent admirer. You know, people don't like anonymous letters. It shows that you're not that you're, you're a chicken. You're a coward. So right, a secret admirer who really means for your good. Those letters work wonders. So definitely there are ways of doing it and you could be Mekayim the Mitzvah without the Yisil of Chait. And don't forget, you know, like someone asked you, but the truth is when I might give Musa even privately and I mean well, he feels bad. I, I told him he did something wrong. No, but, but that, that's the mitzvah. No one, unless you're Oyev Techacha, no one loves Musa. But if you did it the, the most painless way, it's like the, 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 like the life-saving surgery. Yes, it's a chavala. It hurts. But that's the mitzvah. So first things first, do it publicly. Belosh and Rako. And as the Rambam says, stress, I'm doing it for your good. 
I want, you, I want to see you with your, all your beauty. Not, this is not you. But what can you do? Sometimes it doesn't work. La marshal, lie the common marshal. You're sitting by a table in yeshiva and a chasidim. And someone starts talking lush and horror. So what are you supposed to do? You've you got to think quickly. So if, obviously, if you could somehow change the subject, okay, but some of the person's waiting until you finish and he goes back to his chachma. So you could say nicely, uh, I think that's lush and horror. But if that's not going to work, now we have the Rambam's part two, plan B. Now we have what the Rambam says, you have to speak up, and even if it's Mavayish Barabbim. Because this is a this is horrific Chil Hashem Barabbim. The Magad Avram in Tav Reish Ches, he's got in Gimel, gives the Klau. Aver that's done begiloi, yechichenu miyad shal yizchal Hashem Shemayim. If Yidna is sitting and someone says Lashnar and no one speaks up, that's the problem. That perpetuates the problem. There's, there, there's no, you know, not so bad. But the only aid is to speak up. Now, Reza Appella, Rebbein Yoyin, in the, the Heilig Rebbein Yoyin, who was so sensitive to Malbim in Shari Tshuva, Gimel Kuf, Kuf Tzadik Zayin, has this very Shaila. What do you do if someone says Lashnar Barabim? Mitzarecha, do you have to stop the Aver? But, but then again, it's Barabim. You have Aishim Barabim. So, Dr. Ben Abzel Lashayin Kotshayin. He's chayev la'anais v'liga b'hem la says goyda l'toyu l'mitzvahis asher bozu logu l'hem v'yakani l'chvayid noki v'tzadik asher yisichu boy. You have to speak up and defend k'vayit shemayim. Chayim lo yeyosa. So the same Rebbe Niyoyin in four places that said it's v'tzicha, malbim is v'tzicha, but in this case not being malbim is a bigger v'tzicha because he's, he's being machshul the rest of the people. The same thing is regarding Chazar Sashats. Someone's talking during Chazar Sashats. Something that really shouldn't be, especially today, Baruch Hashem, there's such a heightened awareness of Chazar Sashats and talking and the other and God love it. But, you know, we don't need more than God love in the Minasai. So, what do you do if someone's talking? So, you try a friendly Shah, Nu, or maybe stop the Balt Filler from going, you know, a subtle hint. But there has to be the zero tolerance. That, that's really the problem and that's the solution if we don't let this go on. But what do you do now if he's not helping? So Zok to say for Hagon, what's that shot? God love you in That That kind of when he killed the fourth of the population. So to say for Hagon, exactly. The Shechon Aruch has used that Lashin because one that's talking, Kamoi Reit Seyach, Shenarog, and Al Yodei Kam Abonim. Yid not davening in Shul, and this person is destroying the Kayach of that Tzvila. Because a Shul that has talking is Nechrav. I don't have to tell you, all the Mechairis, Taisas Yomtivs, said Tach, but Tach was because of that. A pe- person talking in shul is a right of Anna Reitzeyach. So you don't decide to be able and say, okay, you know, each their own. The Shloss says, Aleikim, I swear, the Shloss father, I'm sorry, the Yashnoich, Aleikim, I swear, Bechol Averis Lareisi Laroya, Kiladaba Beis Akneses, Bezod and Levi, Umoishach of Koyach Ayetzahar, Mazal, Bechoy Rakadish Baruchu, for so many ways, this is a right, this is a right say. Now, Lamaisa, again, if you do it in an Eidl way, or if Ozzah writes in Chaylik, you Sim and Yud Gimel, okay? But then again, sometimes people don't get the hint. Then you have to do what the Birch Zabai is right in Membeis Ches. You have to appoint strong policemen that walk around, Bizroya. And yell at people, like the Shechon Aruch says, The same is true regarding Kriya Satoyer, it's the same Avla, this is rather maybe worse, But by both Kriya Satoyer and Chazar Sashat, the problem is there's no zero, tol- zero, zero tolerance attitude. Imagine the same shul, someone's talking during Muslim and Rosh Hashanah davening. Even though it's only a minute, I mean, he heard 30 kailas, but you know, talking Musa Bashana until they finish the last Takiya. Someone talks, they'll tell him. And why isn't Chazar Shatz infinitely worse? So if the, if the zero attitude kicks in, then that stops the problem. Another question, some, maybe I'm going to quote what a Balkari asked me what do I do about the vultures? I said, what does that mean? I know what he's talking about. It's, you know, people waiting to pounce on me when I make the slightest mistake. So it's interesting, for some people that's the best part of davening, so I don't want to take away their gishmak. But it's interesting, this is not so poshit. I want to tell you it's not so poshit, because if Malb Chavir Barabim is even three people, by Kriya at least ten people. 
and the base and the Torah and Simon Kuf Mem Beis quotes one of the Gdoli Rishonim, the Sefer Amanik, that if the Balkari makes a mistake, don't correct him, because you be Malbin, Berabin. Now that's a Balkari's dream, as you could imagine. But unfortunately for them, the Machaba in Kuf Mem Beis does not pass him like that. And he said, you have to correct him, because we you have to have a lady that's perfectly kosher. But the bigger plea is the Ramah goes a step further. And if the mistakes are not ma'akiv le mashal trap, ain't ma'akzir and oisy, don't make him return. Ava goy arem boy. Now we think the arem is worse. Right? That's good. Like, like, like by by Chlashat. The, the Ramah is saying, ain't ma'akzir and oisy, arem boy. Now this is coming from a Trumas Hadesh and Chalik Bey, Simon Kuf Pei Aleph, that I saw by our boy side. That many times they didn't make him go back, but he writes, Go'aru boy ktsas. The Ramah leaves out the word ktsas, agav. Now, what's the shot? So, the Pashtib shot is that if it's a mistake that you have to repeat, so even though he went further, you have to say, I'm sure you have to go back, I'm sorry, which is terribly embarrassing. He has to go back. People start making all sorts of noises, oh, moaning and groaning, so it's very embarrassing. But let's say it's not ma'akiv. So really, it's not makiv. He could go weiter. But v'chein lo yayasa. You can't lane and make mistakes. I mean, you know, a person only human, but you have to prepare, you have to know it better. Zokti mekar chayim lechav v'siyor. In the end of Kuf Mem Beis, two pshatim. First of all, if you don't correct him, people think that maybe he's laying correctly. They'll think that their chomish has a mistake. It's misleading. It's misrepresenting the Torah. He laying it wrongly. But also, he says, if, he, if, he, if, he, if it's easy, you know, say, easy, Reading, he just keeps laning and no one says a word. Next week he'll appear less. And we have to protect the Kriya Satayra. You know, you take a job, it's not the, the most popular job, but you got to be on your toes. The Buchach in Kuf Mem Beis, might come out the same thing. He says, I, if the Balkhoi worked hard, I didn't correct him if it, if it wasn't a real mistake. I told him afterwards, by the way, try to appear a little more. Unless he was a Paisheya. In other words, it's basically just to keep the Balkaira, you know, focused that he do things right. But this guy Aaron boy is a different nature. It's tack of the lesser of two Ainshim. Machzir and Aise means you have to go back, which is very embarrassing. Guy Aaron boy means uh, S instead of Ace. Okay, he goes right. Okay. But the word is S, not Ace. Mitzrayim, Mitzrayim, those things, you know, you're not Machiv to repeat. Now, I, I want to mention also, I'm not a Balkhoi or God, I'm not a Giyas, but sometimes a person wakes up, the end of, oh, by the way, he said the wrong word. See, that's an Avla. Why'd you wake up the end of Haini? You, you heard a mistake, speak up. Because then it starts, to, did he make the mistake or not? If he thinks it's a mistake, speak up right away. Some people come at the end of the Leo or whatever. So try to you know, realize that the Kvayt of, of, of the Balkhoi is precious. But at the end of the day, if there's a mistake, the meaning is to correct him, grab it today, Balkhoi will even repeat it if he, you know, if, if he didn't go further. But basically, I think we could say that Balkhoi has to work very hard to do his job properly, and vultures have to find other pleasure. It's not their, you know, time for fun. But the, someone asked me, but the Gabi Torah, which is not as important, maybe Allah changes, but basically it shouldn't change because if he's laning it for a tzibah, Laini boy, if he's using a cloth, so we want to have a good laini. But even if not, he's laini from a chumish or whatever they use. But if you let a mistake go by, so right, the people don't correct it, they, they, you know, they hear the wrong word. So basically, again, the Balkar has to be focused on doing it, his job right. The most challenging questions are the chenech related questions. And basically, I start with the tefillah shleik kashal, bidvah But one thing I want to say, I am not talking about mechanchem. Mechanchem are our most precious commodity. I dare not tell them what to do. You know, to, be in, to, to criticize Mechanchim, you have to be on the front lines yourself. You have to see the difficulty in Chinuch, and then you could give Eitzes. I'm not giving Eitzes, I'm trying just to present what I saw in the Paiskim, the tips in Chinuch versus Mal Mechanchim. One thing is abundantly clear, being a Mechanchim is not an easy pass to say what you want. You know, you can't say, I'm a Mechanchim, I can say what I want. The Rambam and the Machabe has a whole Hilchas Malamdim, Yeradeya Reish Memvav, Meshem Hey Reish Memvav, how to be a Malamid. When a Rebbe reacts out of anger, that's sending a very bad message. That means a Rebbe get angry, so could I. Also, Bolechlal Kas, 
Ba'alachal Tois, even the Heilige Moshe Rabbeinu. What should we say? And the child sees, you know, kids, children, adults, children have a certain sense of, 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 the, of the divide, like they say. The Rebbe's out of control. That means the Rebbe's allowed to get out of control. That, that's a terrible chinuch. I've heard from parents that the children should come home. The Rebbe's mevayish me, the kid starts to cry. Now, I'm not saying the child is right. I mean, the child is all of 10 years old, and the Rebbe's a mechanach for 40 years before the child was born. You know, parents can't just react without thinking. But at the end of the day, as I told you, there's hilchos malamdim, how to mechanach children. But then again, you can't run a class if you can't say what you have to say. Don't forget, the same Rambam, the same Mechaba, of how to lay a kap to Malamed, both Mechaba, based on the Rambam, says, if the child is being misrashal in his learning, chayiv lichas aleyem, ulachlimam b'dvarim, k'day lechadadam, zroik mar b'talmidim. You have to know how to walk the tightrope. Lay a kap to Malamed, zroik mar b'talmidim. You know, part of a Rebbe's job sometimes is to, to respond, even publicly. A, a, a child says something. A child, a Talmud says something. Whether a child at home, a son, a Talmud in yeshiva, something that, that's, that's wrong. The Rebbe just lets it go. That means he's, he's uh, accepting it. He's validating it. That's a terrible chal The Morgan of Ram's Kalal, something that was done wrong publicly has to be, has to be repaired, has to be corrected. You know, sometimes you tell a child tells something that's outrageous. How could the Rebbe let it go? Now, he'll say a word, the child will be embarrassed. So that's the nefashat of the yachid. But to let the, the, the statement go unchallenged is the nefashat of the rabbi. Rav Gifta once cl- said with great chachma, sending a child out is the nefashat of the yachid. But keeping a child in the yeshiva is the nefashat of the rabbi. A child that says something that's that a terrible message and the Rebbe just lets it go is, is, is in the nefashat of the rabbi. Now, of course, again, you know, the Chazanish, when we did the Shalab HaChinuch, is that this is, you need a Bezdin, of Ayin Al, this Dina Fashis. But no doubt about it, when, when something was done, the Rabbim, we have the Rambam, we have the Machaba, the Rebbe has to respond. Now, if the Rebbe could use the following approach, usually it works. What he said now was terribly wrong, we'll deal with it later. But no one should think that the fact that I'm just going weiter, this is what was wrong, and I'm sure no one will think of, you know, following what he said. And go weiter. This way, you basically puzzled that statement, and hopefully the children will see that you know you're, you're just going to come back to it at a different time. But the Rambam's lost in the Nevi'im humiliated people publicly. But important, if the Rebbe has to say sometimes a sharf word, he has to explain. I, I, I usually, you know, when Mal B'chavir Abraham is a terrible avera, but now the Allah says we have to say that this was an avla that we cannot accept. Just like Lashon Hara, the TLS, we try to say, it's not Lashon Hara, it's, it's a mitzvah. When the Rebbe has to take come to this last resort, let him explain. Kindle, we're very careful hurting someone's feelings, especially the Rabbim, that's, uh, you know, Yapalach, we an age, but this is something that we can't let go on. You know, it's Dina Nefosh, it's nothing to talk about there. My palm used to say that sometimes a child went off to Derech because of, of a statement that he got in Yeshiva. Now, of course, it's only an excuse. But who wants to be someone's excuse? Rahman al Islam. But the klal is never to react mitoyach kas. I, the Rambam, says yechas aleim. So I want to point out to a different Rambam. A mitzvah of ours. Hilchas deyes, perik beyes, halacha gimel. When the Rambam speaks about the gnus of kas, and he adds that even when a, when a Rebbe has to get angry, roi ulechais, yira atzmai b'fneim shu kayas. You have to put on a show, as if you're getting angry. You know, they say the Altaf and Kelm got angry at Talmud, and he turned, in the middle, he turned to someone, am I doing a good job? <laughs> <laughs> so it has to be a show. But if something is done out of kas, it's ineffective. Sometimes it's, it's devastating. You say the wrong thing, there has to be control. Now, if he can't control the real kas, then he, he's part of He's an ayinus. There has to be an external, you know, a show of anger, of, of, of displeasure. But it has to be with control. Because if he says something wrong, you can't take it back. You destroy a child for no reason, that's a korban. So it's walking a tightrope. And that's why you say, you know, you have to be on the front lines to know the greatness of, of the Arbeim today, you know, the, the, the chutzpiyaski world that, that has crept into our chinuch system. You know, we need all we can. You know, 
you, you, if you yell at the child that it's not you, it's, it's, it's the Yetzirah, that's a whole different nusach. I'm patching a Yetzirah, not you. I'm not saying to patch children today, but that's the adage. That's hoichach l'chochem v'yaveko. Someone told me, he, he, he saw a, a Talmud that was not listening. He goes, what's the next word? What's the child to know? Child says, Rebbe, you mevayish me v'rabim. That's a mechutzah. <laughs> because the Ram is mefairish. If he sees he's not listening, mishrashlim, lechaseleim, lachimam b'dvar. Now what else are you supposed to do? So basically, the, you know, the, the Talmud should be appreciated that the Rebbe cares enough to stop his class to get you back uh, to listening. So basically, it's a very delicate balance, and you have to have a lot of seichel, but you have to think. And, and again, when someone's angry, he's not thinking. The question I began with, where the Rebbe puts up uh, the principles of a list of those that are in detention, that are punished, and the Talmud says, I'm embarrassed, my name's on the list. So the Emissary asked this, this man out, why don't you go to each Talmud privately? Because it takes too long. That's not a tetter. That's part of your job. So he said, but that's part of the punishment. I said, oh, that, 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 I, that you say so, that's up to you. You know, if, if part of the punishment, man, you should move your over, like, you know, maybe, okay. But to me, you know, if a Talmud says you're being mevayish me rabbim, you know, that the, even if you might be right in the letter of the law, but the chinuch that you're imparting is very dangerous. I said, you know, I'll give you an original idea. Put up the social security numbers of the boys that are punished. No one knows someone else's social security number. This way, you, you know, you see. But better would be to go with each one and go privately and, and, and you know, uphold their covet. It's Pashat Kipshutai that the halachas of Malbun apply to a cotton. The Rambam says it, the Chinuch says it. In fact, the cotton is more chomer because he's not a bar machila. And basically, it's interesting, the Prima Godim in the Sefer Teva, Teva's Goima says, Avadin al Mavayish a cotton. Just like you can't kill a cotton, you can't be mevayishim. See, the prima godim live with that equation, that, that malbim is ritzicha. If you can't kill him, you can't be mevayishim. Obviously, and Rapan and I quoted Lashen and Karl HaMelech, Ein heta lahoyim umoyim yoysim bishar b'nei adam l'inyan zeh. Whatever the Allah says you're allowed to do, you're allowed to do. But there's no easy pass, I'm a parent, I'm a rebbe. It has to be within the context of Allah. Now, an Adam Chashiv urged me to mention it, I hope it's not Negeya, but there's no head to, to make jokes about one's own spouse. You know, someone said, told him, Ishtay Kegufay. You know, that doesn't dignify a response. But Bemis, the Gemara in Bava Metziah, the Apmentes, puts it a little more succinctly. L'oyel mi'od mezoye v'aynoas ishtay, sh'metoyach demasa metzuye aynoas akroi v'lavay. She'll cry out in pain, and who's going to suffer? Nebuch, the husband. The tshuva said, go'aynim. Interesting. So someone was Mavayish's his wife and they told him to pay a kanas. He goes, but it's my wife. So he said, the was going before the Rishayim, he said, yeah, it's your wife, you promised next to I know Oikir. You still have to pay the kanas. That's, that's, that's Ishti Kigufai. Or Mechabda Yoysi Migufai. You know, we, look at, we live in a world of schoolers. I'll give you a guaranteed school that's going to work. I quote the Gemara's Lush and the Halik Divrele Kim Chayim, but Messiah Nuntes, Loyal Mi Adam Zoye Bechvayid Ishti. And the Mora says, Rava told Bnei Mechuza, I kill in a Shechayu, Ki Hecha, this is Atru. It's a school of Ashiris to treat your wives properly. So that's Ishte Kegufai, to be able to mechab the Yois to Megufai, but there's no, of course, there's no special Heta, and that's Pashit Kipsutai, that that really is not included in this Heta whatsoever. What I should mention also is something which really maybe I could say in a certain sense and put a klal for all klalim that basically we have to realize that the Rav Shalom gave us a Torah and gave us and gave with the confidence that we could do it. A person has to learn to think and ask Shailas. Lamashal, someone told me, I don't know how this goes on, in a certain Maisid before Purim they made grammar about all the Talmidim and it's mamish full of uh, you know, sharp lines. Hayal al das on Purim is a heta, or even before Purim, certainly not. I mean, Purim is a triumph of, 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 of uprooting of Mephuzim, of Farid, Ben Amim, of Achdus, Ish Echad, Beleid Echad. I mean, even what says in the Shulchan Aruch, in Tafrei Sadikei, that someone's mazik on Purim, he's potter, both the Mishtabur and the Archa Shulchan say, but if he's mazik, be mazik, there's no ptur. So I'll go be mazik on Purim, Purim Gramen, it's 
recorded in history that Shimon Saifa, the son of the son of the Chassam Saifa, died from Agus Nefesh that he had on Purim. When obviously they thought it's some type of a heta, he had Agus Nefesh that he died from it. You know, I once made a list. I, I, I don't have time now to go through that. A list of in Gemaris, in Tainus, the end of Tainus, in Ma'ikot and Chavzayin, Psach and Pebei, Sait Amid Beis, things that Halacha Lamaisa Shli Levayish Misha Eimai. You know how to do something. I'm, I'll, I'll, give you one, I'll give you two examples. The Mishnah in the end of Saita says the, the, the biggest Yom Tebayidin, biggest Yom Tevim were, were Tuba Av and Yom Kippur. What's the Gaza of, of Tuba Av? One Shah the Gemara is they made a Takana that all cows have to wear the same gown and no one could have a nicer gown than her friend. I, I could afford it. And I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not going to the poor Kala. Why can't I make a nice gown? I'm a rich person. I'll make a rich gown. But you're, you'll be Mavayish a poor Kala. The biggest Yom Tebayidin war when they showed a sensitivity to Yenem. They gave up their Simcha not to buy someone else. Or how about this? We have three times a day a reminder of G'day L'Koyich HaShel Busha. Halacha L'Maisa. In Soyit Alam, with Beis, and with Beis, quoting Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechoi, the Helig of Alzai, who obviously was very sensitive in Adma Chaveray, that why do we daven Shemayin Esra quietly? Shouldn't it be better loud? Because when we say Slach Lanu, and the Balaver has to clap his al he's going to be Mavuyish. So Gant Kla Yisrael, at Soyit Chodor, is daven Shemayin Esra quietly, not to be Mavuyish, a Balaver. No, do we need more than that? The eighth is like the words of the Gemara in Brachis Chavches, where Abelezer was dying, and they came to him, Rabbi, give us some Eitzah, how to live without you. Go on world without you. So he said, his haru b'chvoit chavreichem. That's the one thing he gave them. Tracht, you know, there's a, there's a person that thinks, knows what to say typically, but the problem is you don't think. I'm always the spoil. This is halach ulamaisa. In Mo'yikot and Dafheya Menalif, the Gemara says, Rabbi Yane had a Talmud, that was Machim as Rabbi. But he asked questions, Rabbiani did not answer. And Rabbiani obviously enjoyed it because it went on every, all the time. But once a year, this Talmud didn't ask any questions. Why? When? That was Yoyim the Rigala, like we have it called the Archi Kala. And the, Rashi explains the whole city came out to the Shir. And the Talmud made a chesh, and if I ask a kasha, and the Rashi doesn't know the answer, so we know that the, no one knows everything. The Rabbi's not embarrassed, but the Balbatim will be there, nothing happened. The Rashi doesn't know the answer. And that once a year he didn't ask questions. And Morris is about him. That's a beautiful marshal of his haru. Every day of the year, what he did was pilpul, rischa deraisa, and the Rebbe appreciated. Once a year there was a sensitivity, don't ask questions. Tracht, and you see what to do. And I'll leave with one more. Mai Mechazal, in the Mai, in Aleph Gimel, in the Yishalmi that is, Rabbi Pinchas Ben Yor was going to do a mitzvah to learn. And there was a problem, and the way was the Nahar Ginoi. So we know from other places, Yishalmi, that he made a nest, which Yishalmi says is bigger than Kriyas Yamsuf. For a yachid, he made Kriyas Yamsuf, and Ginoi split, and Ginoi split. But Yishalmi continues. He had Talmidim and says, Rabbi, what about us? We also have to get over to come to Yeshiva. Can we also make the nest? So Zog the Pinchas Ben Yor, who had a good chinna from a shver of Shimba Yechoi, obviously, he said, if you tell me you never hurt someone's feelings in your lifetime, you too could make the nest of Spuri the Harginoi. So Mabal Arayim, what's the peak, what's the zenith of Atzloch in Olam Hazer? To go through, like Chazanish once said, the Zibit Sikyor, on this Vei Tonayit, the Chazanish is Chiddush, is this Yishalmi? So basically, the way to do it is to be Sham Derech, his Haru, and hopefully will be Zoyich Ataka to this, Gebal de Gebrocha, I'm going to talk to you all. Wow, Shkoyach Rabbi Smith is a wonderful Shir. Mama Shosh Eschus. Shein Mevish I'd like to thank Rabbi Smith for the wonderful Shir. And Rabbi Isai, we need to sponsors, the sponsors, the Heli Yishun for thousands of people listening to it all over the world. And Big Zikr Rabbim, they changed their homes, they changed their families. And everybody inspires everybody around them. So you know, you know how many thousands of people get inspired from Yeshua Baruch Hashem. Abraham and Kasher Hashem wrote the Kodesh Baruch Hu to Zakri and Yisroel to figure here when I'm to a mitzvah. Shalem and Rechovas Mansid Ko Yagdul Torah Yadim Kaddish. Amen.